you know what? I'm really embarrassed to say this, but I haven't put my organs on the register. Uh -huh. And I know how incredible that can be and, and it could save somebody's life and what a gift that is. Yeah. But I struggle for some reason in thinking about, you know, me being dead and somebody harvesting my organs, which is really selfish. Um, and it's something that I haven't managed to sort of look into and make mm -hmm. a decision on yet. But I do think that seeing images like that and hearing stories like that, you are, in a way, you do start thinking, well, that's a really selfish attitude to have. You need to think mm -hmm. of it on a, uh, on a... You know, it could be, God forbid, a million times my children that needed my exactly. organs or, you know, so... Um, I, I do. Think it's valid, though, to have concerns about it. I mean, I think a lot of people do, and and that's why. I mean, I am registered, and and I actually do believe passionately in the opt-out system. Yes. Whereas if you don't want to have your organs donated, you just simply say and yeah. and sign a piece of paper. You know what, though, but Rachel? I don't think it's for everyone, and I don't think you should feel bad if you don't want to do it. Even if you do sign up, I was speaking to my stepmum about this. We had this conversation last night, and she's on the organ donor register list. But she said to me, if I die before your dad, he won't let my organs go. Because my dad openly said, I won't let anybody take your organs. And I found out, after discussing it with you and all of our producers, that actually the fam a lot of families do have the right and the last say yeah. in whether somebody's it's organs... Even if it? you've registered, even, even yeah, if you... Up against yeah. your wishes. Surely yeah. that counts as some sort of living will, because you, you've signed your name to, mm. to, to say this is what you want done with... It's your body. You know, if you can make a living will saying what you want to do with your house plants and your, you know, and your favourite bit of jewellery, why on earth can't That's you say what you want to do Well, you can organs. sign a living will saying you don't want to be resuscitated. Yeah. Um, I think it's disgusting for mm. families to overrule you if you've said that you want your organs mm. to be donated. And, in fact, in Wales, uh, all, uh, they have already op uh, opted onto the uh, presumption that your organs will be... Yes. They've moved to that system. But and even it... then, they can, the family still has a final say, don't they? Yes, yeah. but I think that the fact is it's better where they've gone, the route they've gone down is better than where we are in England mm, at yeah. the moment, even though um, yeah. Theresa May has said in Parliament she wants to shift the balance onto the presumption that you are going to donate them and if you don't want to, you've got to sign something saying you're not. Yeah. But, you know, being the government, they've got to have a talk about it, we've got to have an inquiry about it, we've got to have a debate about it, even though it's already happened in Wales. Yeah. I think the sooner we can go to a new system, the better. Absolutely. And, and can I just ask you, Stacey, as well, if you've, you've decided at the moment that you're unclear about it, if something happened and you found that you needed an organ, would you take one? Yeah. I know, it's a really... Uh, the whole thing is selfish. Obviously, I would want to stay alive, and this sounds so awful. I don't even know why I'm not a donor. Mm. I just... I don't like to think about death, and yeah. whenever I think about anything like that, it automatically mm. steers me down that road. Um, but, yeah, I probably... I is mean, it, Is it connected to that, then, your... Cos every time I try and do a will, I can't. I, I, I still haven't got a will. Well, that's ridiculous. I know, I know you were going to tell me off. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's that is so, ridiculous. It's so... It's so unkind on I your know, children I know, I'm husband. working towards it, but it gets so complicated and you think like that and then you no. do... And then I get morbid. It's yeah. totally ridiculous and you're right. But I'm just wondering if it's mm. a similar thing when I you're think thinking so. about organs. I think it's a very, like you said, ridiculous and it's very selfish and it's just something that I am dealing with at the mm. moment. Um, but it is... when Even when I got asked the question yesterday, it did trigger a, in my mind. I thought, I really must look into this yeah. and make Does sure that I... Does any of you think that actually organ donation is wrong? Because, again, you're entitled to think that. Some people just think we ask... No. When, we do, when our time has come, our time has come. I think it's a gift. I think if you could save somebody else's life, it's an absolute gift and it's incredible. I just selfishly haven't put I'm myself forward. Washing. I know! <laughs> 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 I bet there's loads of people but, and what, what, yeah. think the same as you, though, Stacey, honestly. The, well, we, we, we asked people at home. We did oh, a poll. Uh, have you registered to be an organ donor? And 68% of people, yes, are registered oh. to be organ donors. Right. Which is great. Which is great.